Whether you need some last minute gift ideas or some inspiration on ways to spend that holiday money, finding the right tech gifts can both be a fun and daunting task. So I'm gonna make that easier for you. My name's Will and this is my winter 2023 tech gift guide. This list will cover several different product categories and the links for everything will be in the description below. So let's get started. Now it's no secret that I'm a big fan of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And while it's an amazing option for people who want that pro workflow and experience, I think the iPhone 15 Plus is actually just worth it for most people. The long battery life and larger screen are really nice things to have, and so far in my testing while using this phone as a daily driver, it's easy for me to recommend it since it's just such a good phone. It's a great option if you don't feel like spending the pro iPhone money and still want a premium overall experience. Fold in the life with the 15 Plus is coming soon, by the way. Now, one of my favorite iPhone accessory makers is a brand called Illumu, and this is their G. E05 4-in-1 MagSafe phone grip. It has a 360 degree rotating kickstand and feels almost fun to use as like a fidget spinner. And what I absolutely love about this one is the super unique hidden box opener. This is such an easy gift idea for anybody with a MagSafe compatible iPhone. And with its price point being less than $40 for something this versatile, that's not bad at all in my opinion. Alumu also makes some really impressive iPhone cases, which I've talked about before. So make sure to check out my recent must have iPhone accessories video, which I'll have linked below. So a brand new product that I recently got my hands on is the Nomad Stand One Max, their most recent entry in their premium device charging lineup. It can charge an iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods simultaneously, and since its build quality is made out of metal and glass, it feels like this product was made directly from Apple themselves. The one downside with this is that you can't actually charge using standby mode if the Apple Watch is attached, so some of you might prefer using something like their Stand One charger if you use that feature a lot. Apparently the design for this was finalized before standby mode was announced, so if you don't mind vertical charging your phone, this is a great option for you. Now, a piece of tech that I've been using a lot lately is the Insta360 Flow, and one thing that I love about this product is how easy it is to actually just start using the gimbal. Once the phone is attached to it via the included magnetic clip, you simply open the device and you're ready to start filming just about instantly. If you or someone you know is the type of person to film a lot of content using a smartphone, I think this is one of my favorite gimbal options out there and makes for a great gift idea. So another really cool new product that I've been testing lately is the Tadpole webcam from Opal, who are the sponsor of this portion of the video. The Tadpole is an ultra portable webcam that's literally smaller than an AirPods case and is designed to be taken with you everywhere you go. Its work from anywhere design features an intuitive clip for attaching to a Mac or Windows laptop and uses a Sony IMX582 sensor alongside the first directional microphone system used on a webcam. Something I've been enjoying using it with is the iPad Pro, since the line of sight is centered versus being off to the side, which is something that I actually haven't seen too many people talk about with this product. The USB plug even has a capacitive touch button that allows you to mute and unmute the device, which just feels like a good design choice. Thank you to Opal for sponsoring this portion of the video, and if you'd like to grab one for yourself, you can use promo code WILL for 25% off of your order. So one of the most popular categories in tech products recently is wireless headphones. And while there are a ton of options on the market, there are two specifically that I take with me everywhere I go. For in-ear listening, the newest generation of AirPods Pro are one of the best purchases I've ever made, and I literally use them every single day. They have great battery life, new touch gestures for adjusting volume on the fly, and the active noise cancellation is extremely solid. Like, it's really, really good. They also have some new quality of life improvements, like a feature that can dynamically lower loud noises while preserving important sounds like voices or cars passing by for better spatial awareness. Now my favorite over-ear option, however, is actually not an Apple product at all, but rather the Sony WH-1000XM5s. We, we gotta work on the naming of these products, Sony. There's a reason you see these literally everywhere you look, and it's because they're comfortable to wear, they sound amazing, and the battery life lasts so long with them. They also look pretty nice too, I think. I've been flying with these and putting them through the paces for the past few months, and I think it's safe to say that they're one of my favorite new additions to my tech kit for 2023. And while Sony did give me these headphones, they're not paying me to say any of this. I'll be using these for years to come. Now another really exciting category in tech is the home office and desk setup gear, and these next few products are a really nice way to elevate your workspace. Rode recently released their brand new white collection lineup, and it features some really good looking versions of some of their most popular products. The entire 
Meyer combo looks great as a package, but the new pod mic paired with the white mic arm is my personal favorite part of it. These all make for a great gift idea for any productivity or even a streaming setup, and I feel like the quality with these kind of speaks for itself. I have some really fun new updates coming in the new year with a brand new gaming focus setup, so I'll definitely cover these products in much more detail very soon. Another company I've had my eye on all year is High Ground, which is a company that's well known for their gaming keyboards and collaborations with huge, huge brands. They recently did an amazing Yu-Gi-Oh collection and I just had to get my hands on one, so I messaged them and they actually sent out their Blue Eyes White Dragon limited edition keyboard. I already owned a few others from them previously and just this year alone, they did collaborations with Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon, so they are doing a lot of cool stuff in this space right now. I'm not too deep in the custom keyboard hobby just yet, but these feel like a good entry point since they feature customizable switches and easily swappable accessories. Last, it wouldn't be a holiday tech guide without some gaming recommendations, and this is actually an area that I want to do more coverage on in the future as a whole. One of the hidden gems in the gaming industry is a company called Analog, who make modern day recreations of retro game consoles using current technology. My favorite from them is the Analog Pocket, which allows you to play all of your old Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games using the original cartridges. They can definitely be pricey and hard to get a hold of, but just this year they did a few limited edition drops, so if you can get a hold of one, they're definitely worth the money, especially if you already have old cartridges. Now, personally, I'm a fan of both the PlayStation and Xbox lineups, but due to the incredible deal that is Game Pass alone, I've been playing a lot of Xbox recently. The Xbox Series X is my most recent obsession, and between the huge releases like Starfield and Forza Motorsport, there's just no shortage of fun to be had. I think that both the Series X and S are impressive options, and since we're a few years into the current console generation, you can likely find these at some pretty impressive deals if you look hard enough. At the time of recording this, I've seen the Series S go for as low as $239, which is a killer deal, and when paired with a Game Pass subscription, this is a combo that should not be slept on. Make sure to let me know in the comments what your favorite item was on this list, and if you found this helpful, consider subscribing. I have a lot in store for 2024, so I'll see you all soon. Thank you for your support. Take care.